Now we're ready to work with the measurements for part four of lab eight. And again, this is the special version of this video just for the spring 2020 students because you may not have GIMP properly working on your computer. If you look in the lab manual, it shows a zoomed in figure. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here so that we can focus on the same section. The measurements that you're going to have to make are the base measurement and the height measurement. And I've already got my measurement tool selected. So we're just going to go ahead and start making these measurements. So for the base, I want to click from one number to the other, going as close as I can to the center of those dots. And for the base distance for the 3-4 section, we can see it says 81.5 pixels. If I need to make the height measurement for that same one, which is going to be recorded in 4.2 on the worksheet, you'd go from the sun, which is that dark dot in the middle, down to this line here where the orbit goes. And for this one, which is the height measurement for the 3-4 section, I got 256 pixels. And again, you can kind of round these off a little bit. You don't need the decimal points. We're going to do the same thing here for the section on 8-9. First, you're going to measure the base. And you're going to record that in 4.1 and that's 67 pixels. And then you'll measure the height for this 8-9 section. And you're getting 305 pixels. Again, the base gets recorded in your lab report in 4.1. And the height gets recorded in 4.2. I'm going to shift my diagram just a little bit here so I can better see the 17-18 section. And I'm going to, again, measure the base first from one number over to the other number. And you can see that that gave me about 108 pixels. Then I'm going to measure from the sun out to the orbit. And I'm getting a value of 185 or 186. Either one of those will work. Let's call it 186 for this particular one. That's going to give you your value for the height measurement for the 1718 section. So if you need to pause and rewind this video or go back and look at some of those numbers again, they're always down here when I make those measurements. You need the base measurement and the height measurement for each one of these sections. Contact me if you have any questions.